Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to discuss about the team called Girona FC. Now this Girona FC has taken the La Liga into storm this season. They are right now in the top of La Liga with 41 points in 16 matches and they just have beaten Barcelona in their last clash. But how is it possible? How is it basically happened? We will further discuss about it in a greater analysis. But before that, let me tell you one interesting and shocking fact about this Girona FC. You'll be surprised to know that this Girona FC doesn't have their own sports faculty complex. They are actually having the situation by rented. They are doing their practice sessions and their facilities in a rented complex. Isn't it shocking? The team who has been breaking through all the things, it has been a very interesting one to know. But the question is how this Girona FC has made things possible for them. Now there are some key factors that actually taken into consideration that actually reason for this particular upgrowth of this particular team. First of all, despite their good players being released in the last season, they recruited very good amount of players who has replaced and taken their positions brilliantly, which helped them a lot in this success. Number two, their team spirit. In spite of having all kind of troubles, their team has been performing very consecutively in considering matches and they have been performing as a whole team. It's not about just an individual brilliance to be honest. Everything has been in properly streamlined and has been done in a very systematic way. Number three, their tactical adaptability. Precisely their tactical adaptability was brilliant because with coach Michael's formations 3-1-6, they adapted the situation, they followed these things and according to their opponents, they actually transfer as per their reasons. So these are very key factors for them for this success. Number four, set piece supremacies. From corner, from dead ball, from any kind of free kicks, they has been phenomenal and they are pretty constant in these things. This consistency actually makes things possible for them and they are actually brilliantly performing in these set pieces. Number five, they are calm and composed build up and progression in the matches. They never rush for the balls. They never push ultimately forward so that opening their back for the defensive vulnerability. They never do that. They never rush and they make sure that their passes are pretty accurate. So their basics are precisely all right that you should not be overdoing the things which is beyond your level. So they just making sure that everything is supposed to be in their own control. And that is why they are making a very calm, composed and a very progressive improvement in their gameplay. These are the very interesting key factor that definitely Girona FC has actually shown and that is why they are right now in this place. Now the question arises that these particular formations, if I talk about this 3-1-6 formation, how is it even possible and how is it happening? See, by judging by this particular formation, we can see that there are some key factors that we need to work on. Number one, their defensive ability. Now this three back three, that means their defensive uh, players precisely the defenders they are pretty much strong in their field and they are not making any kind of mistakes and causing them any kind of trouble for them so they have been brilliant in their defensive lines so that actually helps them to not concede any further goals which is there possible number two they are midfield they are having very strong wing backs which is not only assisting them in the defensive ability, but also they can push forward and creating some attacking supremacies in the upfront in this situation. And that creates too much pressure for the opponent to handle at that moment. Number three, their screenplay, their defensive midfielders actually putting a very interesting defensive wall or screen for them that actually doing any kind of resistance for all kind of things that is being attacked by the opponents. They are resisting the press by the opponent by creating screen and making sure that they are having the control of the ball for the majority amount of matches so that the opponent would not initiate any kind of attack for them. And obviously, one thing I must definitely tell you their formations and shape. They actually make sure that this formation will be different according to the different opponents. Like if I give you one example, say, for an example that opponent is having a very wide attackers so in that case their defensive defense defenders the back three defenders actually taken a very important role in this they are making sure that those wide attackers should not be taken into consideration and nullify them right away 
that is one of the important thing that actually they have done on the other hand if i do follow the situation for an example say if the opponent is going through the situation like they are being narrow in the midfield and the defensive field in the opponent zone so their wing backs can run through the wings and the flanks and creating the crosses creating the inside runs cuttings all the possibilities they can do to work their way and creating a lot of chances for them and along with that their wind backs are so agile in their work they are not only assisting in the attacks but also contributing a lot in the defense as well so that means they are actually creating a lot of numerical supremacy in the midfield zone which controls the whole game for them so eventually you can see that every particular setup is brilliant if the coach is maneuvering all the system in their own way and coach michael has been brilliant in this work to be honest and if i do follow the thing like coach michael's previous achievements it was quite a brilliant sevilla's 2015 2016 europa cup on the other hand olympiakos back to back three greek cup and malaga's dufa champions league quarter final uh, qualifications all of these things has happened underneath the coach's performance so this is not just a fluke or this is not just a one season wonder that we can see it it's precisely the thing that is a very calculative very important and very brilliantly orchestrated throughout the system and this has been a very creative zone and if you do follow the matches of Girona, they are very tactical, they are very systematic and they do know that what should be they are doing and what should be they are not. Though as a team, precisely Girona has been phenomenal in their job, but the best performance are coming in from the best players in their team. And I must consider Yangal Herrera, the, this particular Venezuelan midfielder actually orchestrated and maneuvering the whole system in his own palm, just like passing through the threads with a small touch of a needle brilliantly starting from creating attacks contributing in the defense creating very intelligent runs taking away the markers and the holders for him all the things that you want for a person to do for a team he has been doing brilliantly and that is a very very big plus point for Girona FC and that and Yangal Herrera's performance so far in this team has been contributed brilliantly in their success and that thing actually taken into consideration in a brilliant way. So that's the thing so far for the Girona FC's analysis and how the team has been progressed so far. I hope you do like the video. If you do like it then do share and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Wait for the next video. Bye bye.